Leo, welcome. Lee Chen Vince here from Two Mystics Tarot. Today we're going to pull some advice from Spirit for you. This is a general reading. If you resonate with it, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any uploads. Now let's dive right and see what messages Spirit has for you. All right, Leo, Leo, Leo. Let's see exactly what Spirit wants you to know to enrich your life spiritually, physically, and financially. Okay, so. You know, love's in the air for Leo. <laughs> so far, it's looking real good for you. Okay, Leo, so get ready for this. We got the Four of Wands, the King of Cups. We got the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. Wow. Four of Wands, one of the best cards you can get when it comes to love, right? It goes to show that there is someone in your life, heading into your life, that is... It completes you. This is, this is what you've been waiting for. This is the romantic person that you've been waiting for. The person that really focuses their energy and time onto you. And they're not really, you know, uh, trying to focus their energy on themselves. Of course, they take care of their own needs and whatnot. They're focused, they're focused on work, their career, their, their, their friends, their family. But they really give you that undivided attention. When you speak, they are listening. Do you know what I mean? They really have that strong energy to them. How do I know this? Because next to that is the king of cups. Again, this person's intuition is very strong. They've gone through many different relationships, and that's why they've learned from them, right? Their experience seems to be very wise and very wisdomous. Because next to that is the Knight of Pentacles, which goes to show that they're very practical, very earthy. They understand how this 3D Pentacle game works, food, shelter, finances. So right now they have a good job, good career, they provide the safety you're looking for. All this beautiful energy is here. But it comes down to you, very importantly, Leo, because the Two of Pentacles lets me know that, again, you've been waiting for love to manifest for quite some time. And because of this, it's almost like you don't know what to do with it when it arrives, right? It's almost like you're very, very happy when love comes to your door and knocks, but it's almost like you're, you, you, it's, it's too good to be true. So the belief, that true essence, that real vibration that you need to send out and match this energy is not there right now. Now, this can be troublesome because the Seven of Cups lets me know that in the past, you've had similar opportunities, but you weren't able to capitalize on them, right? And this is the last thing we want right now. Love doesn't always come knocking at your door. So when it does, you got to seize the moment. How do you seize the moment? By being in the right vibration, by dialed into the right frequency, by basically feeling good, right? When you feel good, you act good, you send off that vibration, you attract it. Law of attraction, guys, like attracts like. Not hokey pokey quantum physics right so you need to feel like that because the five of pentacles lets you know that if you don't that you're always going to be trapped in a scarcity mindset and love's going to be farther and farther away from you you have everything here for you but again change your frequency get dialed into the right alignment and attract that king of cups love into your life exactly leo exactly it's very interesting here so i have the six of cups king of swords three of swords nine of swords four of wands overall energy ace of pentacles and queen of pentacles this is exactly how i'm i feel like you're all right now queen of pentacles you're just feeling like very balanced and you have a lot of uh, a newness coming into you a lot of uh, abundance coming into your life you know a lot of new opportunities i should say but at the same time, I feel like you're almost kind of holding yourself back a little bit because you're living with this sense of nostalgia. You're almost thinking of the past too much. It's almost like you keep reverting past, or excuse me, to the past to sort of dictate what's going on in the future. But it's leaving you feeling really ungrounded right now, Leo. You have everything at your fingertips. You're balancing your life so well. This love feels like it is coming for you because we do have the four wands at the end here, right? That stability. But at the same time, I feel like you're sort of living, keeping yourself suffering in this state because you keep referring back to your past experiences and it's really giving you this this feeling of anxiety and fear and doubt and it's very unnecessary because we always again create our reality by what it is we're thinking and if we always revert back to our past then we're living in the past and we're not creating our future so it's very important beautiful leo that we change that direction change that focus from what happened in the past to what's happening right now literally what are you doing right now bring yourself to this moment take a look at how your life is in this moment not about what yet used to happen because then you're going to be creating from the past you're going to be repeating cycles and again i feel like everything is working out for you 
as long as we just direct that focus into what it is you're looking for. Exactly. Everything is definitely working out for you, but do you see your glass half full or half empty? Is everything happening for you or to you? Is it a blessing or a curse? It's very, very important right now that you have that mindset and you're not really living in the past because that's what I see here. You got the Nine of Pentacles, the Universe, which is the World card, the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. So again, you're so powerful, Leo. Like you really have a lot of strength and energy in you, but because you're trapped in the past, you're not able to tap into it. It's, it's, it's a shame right now. Nine of Pentacles goes to show even abundance is at your fingertips. Uh, bonus, promotion, something to do with money, right? Pentacles three, the earth world stuff, food, shelter, finances. There's something, there's even money wants to come into your way. Not only just the, the King of Cups energy, the world card next to that goes to show that the universe has aligned everything up for you. It is your time to shine right now, Leo. This doesn't always happen. When it does happen, we have to capitalize, right? We don't always have abundance at our fingertips. We don't always have opportunities at our fingertips. It comes and goes depending on where we're at in life. And right now, because you harness the queen of pentacles energy of someone who's very grounded, right? You're someone who's very practical, very nurturing. Deep down inside, your, your, your heart is so beautiful. You're such a nice soul that you're being rewarded for everything. But it's important that you do not get distracted. Why? Because the seven of swords here lets you know that there are people in your energy that are lowering your vibes. So how are they lowering your vibes? With negativity. Is it gossip? Is it about this or that? Who knows? But stay away from anyone or anything that is going to lower your vibes and in return, lower your shield, right? Because your vibes vibrations, your frequency. Imagine if it's a shield. When it's up, you feel good. If it gets lowered, you are going to get attacked by lower dimensional energy, and you can just imagine where that's going to go. Now, how do we deal with that? The Queen of Swords, clarity, clarity, clarity. You need your intuition strong. You need to know exactly what you got to do and how to do it. And right now, your guides are letting you know what to do. Best part, the Three of Pentacles lets you know that there's a collaboration. You're supposed to get referred to this love. It could be through work, it could be through a friend, through career, but there's a collaboration in order for this person to refer you to love, they're going to have to make, think that you're going to match that other person's frequency. They would never set you up to fail, right? So if they think that you are a good fit for the King of Cups, that's because you're radiating the energy of matching that energy. But if you're radiating the energy of scarcity or being trapped in the past of whatever happened, then this person would never refer you because they wouldn't want to see you fail. They love you, right? So again, in order to let this love into your life, you're going to have to let go of the past receive the abundance of the future and raise your vibrations by what being happy being happy and being happy is hard to achieve at certain times but being grateful is how we achieve that happiness because it brings us into the present moment and being living through the present moment is truly how we embrace pure happiness now it's interesting Leo because I have the world eight of cups five of pentacles the magician three of cups clarified by the tower and nine of wands so it does definitely feel like you're in the middle of some type of new chapter growth right and when Whenever we're in this this period where we're leveling up, it does feel rocky. Things feel weird. Uh, ideas and, and emotions come up that we don't know why we're feeling this certain way. We can't let things go. Again, it feels very uh, uncertain. And I feel like that's kind of what you're experiencing right now. But the universe wants you to know that this is the end of a chapter and it's the start of a new one. And this is very beautiful, a beautiful time because it means that you get to let go of things. You know, eight of cups here, walking away from things that, you know, aren't making you feel good anymore, that are going to allow you to progress in your lifetime. And whenever we can let go of, of things that don't no longer serve us, then we also let go of that mind state, that five of pentacles, scarcity mind state, because a lot of the time it's just excess energy that's in our uh, reality. You know what I mean? Whenever we're hanging on to a lot of extra things, whether it be an outcome, people, things, whatever it may be that again, isn't making you feel your best is when we walk away from those things, that's when we get back to this magician energy. That's when we get back to this creation, this manifesting mode. It if we're stuck living in the past, if we're stuck with an outcome, and if we're stuck feeling like we have expectations for something, then we're no longer um, manifesting what we want. Then it, we're just repeating old cycles. And that's sort of the energy I'm getting here. But it does feel like the universe wants you to know to just set healthy boundaries with yourself. You know, understand that slow and steady that really does win the race. Things aren't going to happen overnight, but they do happen. Divine timing is at play here. And it, you are going to end up very prosperous with this Three of Cups energy. You're going to be feeling 
feeling like you're going to have the relationships you want in your life. You're going to feel very, you know, uh, like your family's good. Like everything's just going to be working out. But right now it does feel like that time where we just got to keep staying focused on you. Stay focused on your goal and understand that the universe is working out for you right Destiny now. Destiny is definitely on your side. The yeah. universe is definitely on your side and wants to see you succeed. That's why you're getting these messages from Spirit. Spirit's letting you know right now, be grateful, be happy, raise your vibes, avoid any negativity and let love manifest into your life. All right, Leo, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification, guys. Do not miss any uploads. We can't wait to your next reading. Until then, check out these ones right here. We'll chat soon, Leo. Bye for now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Leo.